Do you know why the scripture is in the Bible? Do you know why it's so important? And why people need to give it attention? Because as you read this, you notice that the gate that leads to hell and destruction and torment, it's broad. And many were going to be following down that path. And then just a few lines away it says, The narrow is the way that leadeth to life. And you want to know why in today's world, whether you choose to agree with me or not, why there's going to be more of this world's population in the entire time of, his, of its existence, that there will be less people in heaven than what you could imagine. I am a pre-tribulation rapture believer. And nothing will change my mind. I'm not here for debate. I'm not going to argue with anybody. Because I've been through the questioning of whether or not it truly was biblical. And I have gone through and done what I should. In order to decide what the truth is for it. And I have come to the conclusion that there is no other way other than a pre-tribulational rapture. We live in a time where you need to be telling the gospel to people, whether it be on social media, whether you be telling your friends, whether you be telling coworkers, whether you be posting on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, wherever you have access to. Because Jesus is coming back so soon. The rapture could happen at any moment. If you were to sit back and you look at the way the world is going. And how bad things are getting. Once the rapture happens, things are going to be so much worse. The gate is narrow to heaven because there's only one way. And that's it. You're limited to one choice that you have to make if you want to go to heaven. And that choice is through Jesus Christ. Because he is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. That is why the scripture says that the path to life is narrow. There's so many things going on. This is your eternal life. This is your forever that you're talking about because your soul should be the most precious thing to you. It's your most pre precious possession that you have. And I am extremely extremely grateful that Jesus came into my life and that he helped me to be free. I don't care to be 100% honest about all of the other options for the pre-tribulational, mid-trib, post-trib, or even no-tribulational rapture because the point remains the same. When the rapture happens, are you ready to go? If you die today, are you ready to go? When you have to stand before God and give an account for your life, are you forgiven? Because you're still going to be judged on your works. But when you're forgiven, you're not judged on your sin. Go and spread the gospel. The true, unpolluted, non-twisted gospel. That Jesus was born of a virgin, and he lived that perfect life, never sinning, never falling into temptation and following through with the temptation. He was beaded, he was martyred, he was spit upon, he had a crown of thorns pressed into his skull, and he hung on the cross, suffocating for hours on end, with a thirst. And then he gave up the ghost. 
And three short days later, Jesus resurrected from the dead. And he brought salvation to us all. The rapture is the next prophetic thing on God's prophetic timeline. And I've never really looked at it this way. But there's been three total raptures that have happened in this entire world's existence. And I encourage you, challenge me and go read the Bible. And tell me I'm wrong about these three people. First, you have Enoch. You can find him in the book of Genesis. He lived 365 days and he was not. For God took him. He didn't die. God took him. And then you have Elijah, who went up in a whirlwind of fiery chariots to be with God. He didn't die either. And then you have Jesus. And I never really thought about it this way. But it's true. We have Jesus to represent not only the dead in Christ, but those who are alive and remain. And you can find that scripture in 1 Thessalonians 4, chapter 13 through 18. Jesus died on the cross. And then he came back to life. And 40 short days later, he ascended to heaven. He didn't die again. And that was the way that he ended up back in heaven. No, he alone, singular, was raptured up to heaven. Because rapture in Greek is harpazo. And the definition of harpazo is to be caught up. He was caught up to heaven. He ascended up to heaven. So even Jesus himself is a perfect representation of the rapture. Back to my main point. Jesus is the only way. He is the only truth and he is the only life. He is that narrow path. And unless you find him... That's the only way that you're going to find yourself in heaven. He did all of this for you. And he did all of this for me. Knowing our names before we even existed. Or were even thought of. Don't be scared to follow him. It's not always easy. Sometimes it can be the hardest thing. But regardless of how hard it is, it is so much more rewarding. I'm not putting this video out for any sort of fame. I'm just trying to do my part and to reach as many people as possible. So send this out to someone. Put it on your social media. Talk to somebody about it. Tag friends or family. Because Jesus is coming soon. And if we can all work together to get as many people to come to him as possible. To get people on that narrow path. And get them to heaven. And get them saved. And lead them to Jesus and let him do the rest of the work that we can't do. When the rapture happens... We'll see so many friends and family that we won't be mourning that won't be with us. I have a few scriptures in this video, so if you need to, you can pause and read them. I thank you for your time. God bless.